How you doing there guys? Thanks for tuning in. You're watching Dirt Bike Channel. I'm your host Kyle Brotherson. Today we're going to change the oil on this 2019 Beta 390 RR. Stick around. This is fit, this this oil that they recommend for the engine oil is $15.40. This one is $8, okay? And then the filter is like $22.99. I've got it up on my board over there. Um, so this is $44. So anyway, we're gonna go through this though and we're gonna do this. So like I said before, they're separate. I've got the bike hot. It is still hot to the touch. You always wanna make sure that your bike, you heat the bike up before you change the oil. And then I'm gonna drop it down out of the bottom. I'm gonna pull both of the drain plugs out of here, drop the oil. First, we'll take our, our caps off. Man, that is still hot. I'm gonna have to be careful. We'll take, we'll take our caps off and let this oil drain out and we'll put uh, fresh oil back in as well as changing this oil filter. Let's take a look at it. The left hand side of the bike is our engine oil and it has a sight window down here. So I'm just gonna remove, whoops, remove my cap. Here's the sight window. You wanna make sure that you always have uh, oil up to the top of that. We'll, we'll do that later. Here's where our oil filter is, um, but I'm gonna take the, uh, the oil cap off on the other side on the transmission and then we'll take our drain plugs out of the bottom. All right, so I've got the camera right down by the ground and this is our transmission plug and this is the oil plug. The front of the bike is this way. So you're looking from the back to the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do this one for, actually, I'm gonna do this one. Make sure I get my wrench set up correctly. And there we go. Break that loose and see how messy we can get. I always like, to, oh shoot, I always like to do this on a sealed floor because I'm always getting, um, things messy. So there's a, there's a screen on this. I don't know how well, how well you can see that, but it's a wire screen. I don't know if this comes off. Usually they do, but for some reason that oil is hot. For some reason, I'm not getting that screen to come off. Gonna have to play with that off camera, uh, but we'll let this drain out and then also get our gear oil here too. Okay. Let's see if we can pull our gear oil out and have it not spray everywhere. Gear oil is definitely a different color. Not the same substance. Cool. And this one has a uh, magnet on that um, plug. So we'll clean that up, clean both of our, we'll let this thing drip out here for five or 10 minutes, maybe even 15. And then I will come back to you guys. Here you can see me just cleaning up this uh, oil plug. I've already, I already cleaned the, the uh, engine oil plug. This is the transmission plug, getting all the shavings off of that. And then we'll go right back up in there. Always start things by hand, something that is common, should be common sense. So start things by hand and, and then use hand tools, not impact stuff. And torque these down to the uh, recommended torque specs. Snug that up a little bit and then I'll torque that later in just a minute. All right now we're gonna remove our oil filter. Nice little cap here. Always a little bit of drainage going on. All right, so if you don't have a pair of snap ring pliers or, sneaker, or Seeger ring pliers, you are never gonna get that out. And it just, you just have to squeeze kind of hard. And there she comes out. And that is our oil filter, our 23, what, is, what does that cost, $23? Yeah, our 20, $23 oil filter here. New oil filter installed. I'm sure there is a torque spec for this. And so I've calibrated my hand to that exact torque spec, which has just happened. Boom. 
Before I get carried away too far, I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall my skid plate. I really like how Beta has, that's backwards. I really like how Beta has designed uh, this skid plate. It bolts on, uh, two bolts on the front and then one bolt on the rear actually. And I like that a lot. So it is one more bolt than a lot of skid plates, but I don't think it's gonna come off. Um, because they've got it integrated here. So that's a good thing. All right, first things first, 750 cc's. I got it uh, uh, measured out here in my Motion Pro Pro Funnel. I'll just slowly let this drain down into the motor. I love this funnel. I should have a link to it down in the description if you look at that. If you look down there. Such a cool way to measure out the exact amount of oil. And we'll be watching the oil come up here in the sight glass and it should come and fill the sight glass all the way up. We're gonna have to start the bike um, and run it for a few minutes to fill up the oil filter. But this is what we want. In fact, I'm gonna stop at just 50 cc short. And of course, let's spill a little bit of oil. And I'm gonna run it like that for just a minute. Okay, so we've got our oil now just to the top of the sight window here. Um, it says you wanna be up to the top of it, but not, um, not, not like overflowed. So I ended up needing just a little bit less than the 750 cc's of oil. So I'm glad I didn't put it all in because I was about 50 cc's, must have still had some in the engine compartment somewhere. Anyway, we're good on that. Now we're gonna go over to the other side and do our transmission oil. Well, that's it, we're all done. As you can see, I'll roll in footage right now. There is an oil check screw for the transmission oil on the other side, a little red uh, screw that you can pull out and make sure that there's oil up to the bottom of that. That's how you can check your gear oil on the other side. So not too complicated, but this bike is a little bit uh, more complicated because you've got two separate you know, oil and tranny. Um, but anyway, just wanted to show you how this works. So far, I've ridden the Beta one time and it was phenomenal in the fast stuff. Uh, I didn't like it as much in the slow stuff, but the shocks, or I mean the fork was fantastic. The bike was on point for 95% of what I rode and I'm excited to go get out on it again. This is a good bike. Hey guys, if you like these videos, please remember to subscribe. Uh, if you wanna support me, you can use the links down in the description for anything from Amazon to Rocky Mountain ATV, Motorsport, those places. If you wanna support me on Patreon, uh, please do so. This is the way that I'm supporting my family. Also keep in mind, we have dirt bike sweepstakes every now and again where you can buy a shirt or buy something. Um, and get entered to win a dirt bike. I won't be giving this one away because I don't own it. Uh, Beta lent this bike to me, is lending it to me, letting me borrow it. So thank you Beta for doing that. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, until next time, um, take care guys and we'll see you in the next video.